it is me, Mr. Mario, and I uh, got something I want to show you all today. I am going to be upgrading my hard drive in my laptop to a solid state drive. And you might be asking, Mario, why are you doing that? Well, some of you might be congratulating me, but others might be asking that. Well, I have, I'll show you the exact drive I have in here right now. This is actually the second hard drive I've put in my laptop because the other one didn't crash, but it was getting ready to die. This is what I have in there right now. Well, I pulled it out, but it is a 750 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Black hard drive. It's pretty reliable, honestly. It's great. The only problem is it is, oh my god, the boot times on there are slow. And, um... You know, some people might be saying, oh, well, Mario, you're just used to solid states. No, I'm talking like it takes about five minutes for my laptop to become com completely usable. And that's if it's uh, running fine. I recently, uh, I, I stopped using my laptop really this semester because I was using a uh, MacBook Air from work. But I want to use my laptop again, and this coming Monday, I need to travel. So I'm going to be taking my laptop instead of, you know, the property from work. But I decided to go ahead and get this thing. This is actually the exact same drive. I actually, I think this one is, it might be the same drive. I don't know, honestly. I have a drive that's a SanDisk, and it's an Ultra Series, 128 gigabyte, or it might be 120, I'm not sure. But I do have a drive very similar to this, if it's not the same thing, in my desktop right now, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to show a video of the comparison as well, which is why I'm wanting to do this. But uh, what I did was... I cleaned up this hard drive. I, I have it partitioned. One thing, one reason why, honestly, I didn't, I waited so long to upgrade is because, one, the laptop, it's good, okay? It's good, but it's about two years old. So I didn't really want to throw more money into it, but I still want to use it. Still got a good few years of life in it. And, um, you know, the space. This is 128 gigabytes. This is 750. But I thought about it, and, you know, I can manage it with 128. I think I'll be okay with that. Especially since I use, you know, Spotify, Google Music, a few things like that. So I don't have to carry around my music collection everywhere. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, I took the operating system partition of this drive. Uh, I imaged it over to my computer using Reflect, which I'm going to put a link down in the description because I just want to say right now, I do not... Indoor, like I, I don't work for Reflect. They're not the uh, Mart I, I think that's the company. I don't work for them. I don't promote them, but their software is so good. I've used it on several drive images, and it's free. So, I, I if you use the program, you won't believe it's free, but it is. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this real quick, since I've talked long enough. All right, got this off, and it's kind of tearing, but. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. There we go. I pretty much have solid, state, solid states on everything now because I have one in my desktop. I installed one on my desktop at work. I have one in my MacBook Air at work, and now I'm going to have one in my laptop. So, got the instructions right here. Got this, which I've, I've never used these, honestly. It's just kind of to keep it in place and all that. And finally, the actual solid state right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I love how light these things are. These are just awesome. Solid states are amazing. They really are. Um, I, I'm going to say this. If you're going to ask me, Mario, do you recommend getting a solid state as my boot drive? Uh, my answer is going to instantly be yes. It's going to make it just so much faster. But this is the hard drive right here. Well, solid state. So light. I love that thing. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the computer and image it, and uh, I'll show you all, I'm going to show you all a comparison of how fast this thing's going to be compared to my hard drive.
well, now I just installed the solid state drive. I have not even booted it yet, aside from having it hooked up to my uh, computer to image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. That video you just saw, yes, it took four minutes for the computer to at least become usable. Uh, this laptop right here, so I have not booted off this drive yet. This will be my first time doing it. I'm gonna have the stopwatch here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start these at the same time to see how fast this goes. Alright, so I think I was a bit off, but uh, <laughs> right there, 32 seconds. So, <laughs> quite, a, quite a difference right there, as you all can see. We're going to go ahead, restart the computer right here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And uh, this is... This is without any type of optimizations, anything like that. Uh, I still have to go in. There's several things I'm going to have to do to uh, shrink down, you know, how big the operating system is taken up on here. But, um, and just a few solid state drive optimizations. But this is just a straight image from my hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and do this one more time. Alright, so desktop at about 16 seconds, and I'm just going to wait for all my stuff to load up on the sides. All this stuff's going to flash, and then uh, my rain meter's going to show up on here. That's when I deem it as usable. This time it's taking a little bit longer, but there we go. So, you know, a few seconds longer. But look, 38 seconds. So, less than a minute compared to at least four minutes for this. That is just astounding. So, that was the whole comparison. So there, there we have it. That is the comparison of uh, my hard drive and solid state speeds. We're gonna go ahead and shut this down again, and I'm gonna boot it up one more time just to show you all this, just because uh, I'm in shock as well. I knew my laptop was gonna be a lot faster, but I have never seen it boot that fast. I, I don't even, I don't even think I see the bio screen on here now when this pops up, but we'll go ahead and do one more time to show you all. But I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, this style of, yeah, it takes, what, like, it takes like half a second for BIOS to pop up. Uh, but no, I have the same type of drive, I have a 64 gigabyte revision of this uh, at work, but uh, I've only used SanDisk solid states, and I've had very good luck with them, and I've read very good things about them, so quite happy with everything on there indeed. There we go, so less than 30 seconds. This is probably going to take... It keeps looking like it's freezing right here. That's just all the processes loading up at once, which I can probably cut down on, honestly. But there we go. So about 36 seconds for it to become usable. That is awesome. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone. And uh, this has been my solid-state unboxing, install, and comparison.